Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today I thought I would share with everyone what is currently on my jailbroken iPhone 10 running iOS 11.1.2. Now, I'm sure many of you are pretty excited for the new and upcoming iOS 11.3.x jailbreak. This is why I wanted to make today's video sort of recapping and remembering some of the best tweaks that are out there for the iOS 11 to 11.1.2 jailbreak. Now, when the new utility comes out, I'm not sure if all or any of these tweaks will be supported. But this may give you guys some ideas of what to expect when you jailbreak your phone. Now I've done quite a few top tweaks videos in the past, but most obviously I don't keep every single one of them on my device. But again, this video really isn't a top tweaks or newest tweaks videos. This is more so a showcase of what's on my personal iPhone 10 that I use every day. Now these tweaks in today's video are some of my personal favorites. They're ones that I've decided to keep on my phone long after making a video about them. In other words, they've sort of passed the test of time. All right, so let's go ahead and start this video. So I'm right here on my lock screen. As you guys can see, I only have a couple tweaks installed. I like to keep it pretty simple, but the main one you'll notice here is Lock Plus Pro. It's removed all of the lock screen elements and replaced it with my custom element at the top showing the time, date, and weather. As you guys can see, you can create and actually choose from a ton of pre-installed themes right here. I've covered this tweak in the past, so I won't waste too much time on it. All right, so next up is the tweak called Bazzy. It shows the battery percentage right here in the top right, as well as on the notch of the iPhone 10. So one of my favorite tweaks coming up next is called Jumper. It lets you put custom applications on the bottom two toggles right here. Now, actually, I just use one for Spotify right here instead of the camera app. As you guys can see, it launches me directly into Spotify. And I'll actually go ahead and play some music. Now this is actually Mit Shuha right here for iOS 11. And that can be displayed on the lock screen, but I actually have it turned off because I'm using Artsy right here. Now some people have been able to enable both of these tweaks at the same time. I unfortunately couldn't do so. But again, this is Artsy showing the album art cover in the background of your music controls platter. And then I also have goodbye cover art to get rid of the initial cover art that's default in stock iOS. So those combined create a really unique look for it. I really like this. And as you guys can see, it updates for every song that you are playing currently. So that's pretty much it for the lock screen. Next, I'm just going to head to the home screen. Now, actually I have a blank first home screen cover page right here. And I just like being taken to that. It's nice and simplistic. And then when I scroll over, I have all my apps right here. Now, again, I really don't have too much going on. I don't even have an anemone theme enabled. I just felt like that slowed down the iOS device too much. Now at the top, I'm actually using Zen HTML right here to transfer a custom Lock Plus Pro widget to the home screen. And then again, Bazzy right here is really present. To get the custom layout, I'm using Boxy 3, which then you can not only create a custom icon layout, but then adjust horizontal, vertical, side insert, and top insert paddings right here. So that's just a really nice tweak to get your custom layout exactly how you want it to be. So again, when using this custom widget at the top, I also removed the stock iOS time from the top left. Now this is actually called Hide SB Time, and in its place, I like to use this tweak called Peekaboo, which just replaces the volume HUD up into the top left right here. Now that will work if you have your normal time there, but I just like it that it's blank and it only pops up when I'm changing the volume. So that is pretty much it on the home screen. Again, I have my custom widget. I have Bazzy, Hide SB Time. If you guys notice, I also have Noctis XI installed with this custom widget at the top. I can't even think of what that's called. It's brand new. I'll have it linked down in the description when I think of what that is called, but I really like that to ch quickly change again the songs that you're listening to within the widgets pane. If I keep going to the right one more time back to the home screen. One tweak that I really like is called Floaty Dock, and you really won't notice this until you throw a fifth icon down. Also, when you're in landscape mode, you can quickly swipe up from the bottom to access your dock. And I believe also when you go into portrait mode, in the bottom left, if you swipe up from the bottom left, you can quickly access your dock to access your favorites. But again, this tweak is called Floaty Dock. Another one of my favorites that's mostly applicable on the home screen is called Easy Swiper. Now, if you swipe down in the middle, you'll access Spotlight just like normal. But if you swipe down on the left, it'll take you to your cover sheet. And if you swipe down on the right, it will then take you to the control center. 
Now that's a really easy way to access the control center and we'll come back to this and all the custom tweaks here later in this video. But real quickly, let's head back to Spotlight real fast. Now let's say I've been searching for an application, let's say Google Docs, because I've forgotten where it is on the home screen. Well, with this awesome tweak called Lead Me Home, if I just hold down on the application, then it will take me directly to the application in which folder it is and actually highlight it there if you saw it real fast. I'll do a quick replay on screen now to show you what the animation looks like. But yeah, then it takes you directly to the folder so you can remember where your app is on your home screen. All right, let's head into the multitasking pane real fast. Now there's a couple I wanted to talk about here. I really only have two enabled. One I've talked about in previous videos called Swiper, which allows you just to swipe up instead of going into editing mode. Yeah, it won't even let you go into editing mode. You can easily just swipe up to clear out some of your previous apps. Now the next one is called Switches, which lets you swipe down and get these custom toggles right here to respring, reboot, power off, and even close all apps. So that one is absolutely incredible and there's a really quick way directly within the multitasking pane to eliminate and close all of your apps. All right, for the next couple of tweaks, these are ones focused around in-app experiences. So I'll just head into Cydia to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now this one, I'm actually using Eclipse. That's going to be the first thing you notice. And then I'm actually using a tweak called Flame directly within Cydia to modify some of its custom settings. Now, the only other one that I really have installed within Cydia is called Tweak Counter 2, which shows you the amount of tweaks installed. Anyway, that is not the point. It's not just about Cydia. One thing that I do have here at the bottom of Cydia, so the tweak called Saw actually removes the physical space, and then the tweak called Hide Bar X actually removes the white bar that's typically there. And then of course the very last one, again it does not only apply to just Cydia, but any app that hasn't been optimized yet for the iPhone X screen size. The tweak called No More Small Apps allows for full screen Cydia and other apps that have yet to be optimized for the iPhone X screen size. All right, so the next group of tweaks that I wanted to talk about are directly within the Messages app in particular. Now you can see there's a major tweak at play here called Translucent Messages, which basically takes the background of your home screen and then blurs it in the background of your messages. Now this looks really nice across your entire message threads and everything within it. And as you guys can see, it adds some really nice blur to the bottom and the top right here. Now within the message thread right here, I have a couple tweaks going on. I got one right down here at the bottom, which hides the app bar because I really just don't use it and you can still access it. It just hides it from showing by default. I just like when it's hidden right there and that one is called no more app bar. And then lastly, when you pop it up, I still have bar emoji down here at the bottom which shows you some of your recently used emojis. And then very lastly, something related to messages. I actually have type status 2 installed, which shows when someone is typing. Typically in the messages app, you'll see an indicator right here. But now when you're in any app, a message at the very bottom of your screen, and or if you don't have an iPhone 10, you can put it in the status bar, will appear showing you that someone is currently replying to your message and then you can head to the messages app and quickly see their response. It's a really nice tweak to let you know when someone has seen your message and when someone is replying to it currently. All right, so two tweaks related to notifications. One right here that I really like is called color banners. It just adds some color based on the application's default color to your banners. Now there is one called IntelliX which actually groups these notifications based on the app, but unfortunately it's a little too buggy for me, but that is one that works occasionally. I just don't have it installed permanently. So the second tweak again related to notifications is called adjust notifications. Now you guys can see I have my custom lock screen right here and typically like I showed you the notifications would start appearing right about here. Well with this tweak installed you can move that default start place higher so it looks more natural on the lock screen. So again, the last place I wanted to talk about was tweaks related to the control center. As you guys can see, I have a ton of stuff going on here because this is really where I feel like Apple could change a ton of stuff in iOS 12 to make this experience better. As you guys can see, I have the album artwork right here. And again, all these tweaks will be linked in the description. I just kind of want to explain what's going on. I have smaller sized volume and brightness controls right there. Again, I have ways to respring, open certain apps like Cydia right here. 
In the top left, my connectivity toggles are actually colored in with custom colors. Again, just a lot of customization going on. There's a ton of tweaks that actually are needed to achieve this look, and again, I'll have them down in the description of this video under the control center section. I just won't have time to go into every single one of them. Anyway guys, just a couple last ones that are really new and have been updated for iOS 11. I'm happy to say the activator is finally here. I've been waiting for this tweak for months and it is finally here guys, I'm happy to say. Another one that I thought was really interesting was actually called Screenshot Gestures. It's SS Gestures for short, but typically when you swipe to the left, that will save your screenshot. But now you have the option to swipe to the right to just immediately delete it and or swipe up to then begin editing it. Anyway, that is SS Gestures. The very last one that I thought was rather interesting, again, I'm going for simplicity right here, is called Siri, not my friend. So typically when you're within Siri like this right here, you'll have a bunch of suggestions come up on your screen with this tweak installed. All of those are hidden, again, for a more simplistic look. But that pretty much wraps up this video. Those are some of my favorite tweaks that I use on my personal jailbroken phone. As you guys can see, I have over 50 plus tweaks installed. I obviously couldn't cover all of them in today's video, but check the comment section again for a full list of ones that I went over, as well as some of my other favorites that I didn't have time to cover. Anyway, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions, so let me know down in the comment section which ones are your favorites, or if I missed one that you use a lot on your personal device. Also, it'd be great to hear which ones you guys would love to see updated for the iOS 11.3.x jailbreak. I know one of my personal favorites is actually Apex 2 that has yet to be updated from iOS 10. That is about the one tweak that I really am surprised that hasn't been updated yet, and I would love to see on my iPhone 10 on iOS 11. Anyway guys, in the end, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And again, if you want to stay updated on future coverage pertaining to the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.